Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Today, we're exploring a topic that has been misunderstood for decades, the connection between eating eggs and heart health. I'm Ethan Foster, and I'm here to break down some of the latest findings on how regular egg consumption can actually lower the risk of heart disease. Joining me is my co-host, Ilara Skye, who brings a wealth of knowledge on natural approaches to nutrition. Ilara, I'm looking forward to hearing your insights on why eggs have been demonized for so long. Thanks, Ethan. It's great to be here. Eggs have indeed been unfairly criticized, mostly because of older guidelines that blamed cholesterol in egg yolks for clogging arteries. However, emerging research consistently shows that moderate consumption of eggs can support, rather than harm, cardiovascular health. A prime example is a study published in the journal Nutrients, which found that older adults who ate eggs up to six times per week lowered their risk of dying from heart disease. That's an important point. The study specifically focused on individuals who were 70 years old or above, tracking them for nearly six years. It revealed that eating one to six eggs per week was associated with a 29% decrease in heart disease-related deaths and a 17% drop in overall mortality. It's also notable that daily egg consumption didn't produce as strong a protective effect as weekly consumption did, suggesting there might be a sweet spot for how many eggs we should eat. Exactly. Moderation appears to be key. In this context, the idea that cholesterol in eggs is dangerous is increasingly outdated. This large study took into account dietary quality, physical activity, and other health markers, yet still linked moderate egg intake with lower cardiovascular risk. Another significant point from the research is the role of choline, a nutrient found in egg yolks that's crucial for cellular health and homocysteine regulation. Elevated homocysteine levels can damage the arteries, raising the likelihood of heart attacks and strokes. The choline component is fascinating. Many people aren't aware of how critical it is for both cardiovascular and brain function. A separate review published in Nutrition Reviews highlighted choline's function in liver health, muscle integrity, and cognitive processes. In fact, up to 90% of the population doesn't meet the daily recommended intake for choline which is worrisome because deficiencies can lead to fatty liver disease, muscle breakdown, and diminished brain performance. And eggs are among the richest natural sources of choline, supplying roughly 680 milligrams per 100 grams. When the body doesn't get enough choline from the diet, homocysteine can accumulate to harmful levels. That's where eggs shine, as they help convert homocysteine into methionine, mitigating cardiovascular threats. This process is similar to what happens when people take folic acid supplements to manage homocysteine. Essentially, moderate egg intake can serve as a natural, whole food approach to supporting heart health. Another point the research emphasizes is the beneficial lifestyle choices that often accompany egg consumption. People who eat eggs moderately and maintain a balanced diet, engage in regular physical activity, and avoid smoking or excessive drinking appear to gain the most protection. Those habits, combined with the nutrient density of eggs, strengthen the idea that eggs can be a cornerstone of a healthy regimen. It's not just about the eggs themselves, but also how they fit into an overall healthy lifestyle. True. Another aspect to consider is the quality of the eggs we're eating. Not all eggs are created equal. Conventional factory farmed eggs can be high in omega-6 polyunsaturated fats, or PUFAS, due to poor quality feed. An excess of these inflammatory fats contributes to various chronic diseases. So, people who want the best health returns should look for pasture-raised eggs from farmers who prioritize regenerative methods, ensuring that the chickens are fed nutrient-rich feed or allowed to forage naturally. That's a significant differentiation. Dr. Mercola emphasizes the importance of feed, pointing out that what chickens consume directly affects the nutritional profile of the eggs. High-quality eggs tend to have lower levels of linoleic acid, which is an omega-6 fat that can be pro-inflammatory in large amounts. By contrast, chickens raised on diverse forage or specialized low PUFA feed produce eggs with a more favorable nutrient balance. This highlights why purchasing from a reputable farmer or raising your own backyard hens can be so beneficial. 
Absolutely. When it comes to actually eating eggs, it's critical to remember that the yolk contains most of the nutrients. The outdated fear of cholesterol led many people to cook or eat only egg whites, missing out on the choline, fat-soluble vitamins, and antioxidants like lutein and zeaxanthin that reside in the yolks. These substances support eye health, liver function, and many other vital processes. It's important to embrace the yolk, especially if you're aiming for the full spectrum of benefits. The egg yolk is a powerhouse. However, as the nutrient study indicated, there might be a slight difference in the benefits when consuming eggs every single day versus a few times a week. The researchers noted the optimal range appeared to be up to six eggs per week for older adults, at least in terms of longevity and heart health outcomes. Still, this doesn't mean daily egg intake is harmful. It just suggests that moderate consumption yields clear advantages. That balance also ties into the bigger picture of nutrition. If you're eating eggs daily, it's wise to diversify your choline sources by including items like liver or grass-fed dairy, ensuring you cover your nutritional bases. It's also a good idea to pair eggs with whole, unprocessed foods. Instead of pairing eggs with bacon or sausages rich in unhealthy fats, you can enjoy them with root vegetables, fresh fruit, or grass-fed butter. This holistic approach ensures you're not counteracting the benefits of eggs by consuming pro-inflammatory items alongside them. Precisely. I also want to reiterate how crucial it is that people pay attention to how their eggs are prepared. Cooking them in vegetable oils high in linoleic acid, such as canola or soybean oil, negates some of the benefits of eating the eggs themselves. Opting for options like grass-fed butter, ghee, or coconut oil can help keep harmful fats at bay while preserving the beneficial compounds in the egg. It's another example of how small choices in the kitchen can have a big impact. Agreed. Another perspective that comes from Dr. Mercola's recommendations is that if you do consume a higher number of egg yolks, choosing low PUFA eggs can offset potential concerns about linoleic acid. Some people even use freeze-dried egg yolks from farms that keep linoleic acid content down. This approach might appeal to those who want the nutrient density of multiple yolks each day without risking an overload of potentially inflammatory fats. That's a good strategy for those who want to push their intake a bit higher. Let's switch gears for a moment and address one more question people often ask. Doesn't all that cholesterol in eggs raise your blood cholesterol levels? The consensus from newer research is that dietary cholesterol from eggs doesn't significantly impact cholesterol levels in most healthy individuals. The real problem usually arises from a diet high in processed foods and unhealthy fats, rather than from whole foods like eggs. Exactly. And that's why many large studies, including the one published in Nutrients, show no link between moderate egg consumption and increased cardiovascular or cancer risk. In fact, the evidence points in the opposite direction, indicating that eggs are protective for heart health, especially when combined with an overall nutritious lifestyle. Considering the prevalence of choline deficiency in the general population, making eggs a regular part of one's diet is a simple, effective step. I'm glad we're clearing up these misconceptions. So, to summarize, up to six eggs per week may significantly lower the risk of heart disease and overall mortality. The protective qualities stem primarily from the choline content and the synergy of nutrients found in egg yolks. Choosing pasture-raised eggs helps reduce inflammatory omega-6 fats, and for those consuming more eggs, sourcing them from low PUFA-fed chickens can further optimize their health impact. I believe these insights can help listeners reconsider the value eggs bring to a balanced diet. That's a solid wrap-up. Eggs are not just safe. They can be an integral part of a heart-friendly eating plan, as long as people remain mindful of the quality and quantity. Paying attention to how you prepare them and what you serve them with can further elevate their benefits. This understanding has the potential to transform the way people view eggs, letting them reclaim their rightful place as a versatile, nutrient-dense food in our diets. Well said. It's been an enlightening discussion, and I hope our listeners now have a clear picture of why eggs deserve to be on their plates. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster here with Ilara Sky. Stay informed, stay healthy, and we look forward to bringing you more insights in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.